Mark, congratulations on the win at home. How did it feel at your, your first home game? Yeah, it was great to be out there. I've been really eagerly awaiting this chance to come out and uh, put my imprint with the staff onto the team, you know, and, and we're trying to build uh, a team that this great club's really proud of, you know, and the fan base are getting right behind me, which is so good. Um, so I really enjoyed that aspect of it, but I was very disappointed in a lot of our play in the first half because we could be so much more slicker in possession. Um, but then that's the special thing about football. We have the chance to go and improve that in the training. We said that we noticed a difference from Reading to Luton and then there was a difference again from Luton to today. That's got to be pleasing that the lads are clearly taking your ideas on so quickly. We have to play with clarity and everything we do, it's clear out there. You could see the moves we're making, you could see how we attack. We have many offensive players in the front line and it's given teams big problems. And we're not even started, guys. We're not even started. This is the, the key to it, that we have to keep setting the standards. I've told you all the time, I'm not here to be players as friends. I'm here to win games and to push these players to go to a level that they've not been at before, whether they're older or whether they're younger. And if, I'm sure you have heard from the training and that, that it's been the toughest sessions they've ever experienced, but that's no problem to me. This is what we need to go and win games, play with intensity and passion. Uh, three goals conceded against Reading, three goals conceded against Luton, none today. That's a, a big improvement, obviously. Yeah, it's a big improvement. I was disappointed with our chance just before half time, so we could improve uh, in key critical uh, phases of the game that we don't switch on. But as I said, um, if we score the third one late in the second half, it just sends a message out to everybody in the league that we're, when we're clicking the gear, we're going to give teams problems in the league. There's a few surprise names. You hinted at it in your press conference. Uh, young Charles Ondo made his senior debut today from the B team. We had Brody Spencer on the bench as well as Brahima Diara. Do you want to just talk us through those decisions? Guys, if you're not training with intensity and you do three days out of the five days, you'll not be in my team. I've got a good group here. And the team, the starting 11 and the subs, they earned the right. If you want the coast, just stay at home. You're not going to play for me. It's not, it's not how I work. I want to set standards at this club and we've got to be competitive and have winning mentality. And every single day we come in this building, it's got to be like that. It was um, another couple of you know really impressive performance from young Etienne in midfield as well, without a, a proper midfield partner in there. Jack Rodoni had to, to fill in next to him and, and Ben Jackson again built on his performance against Luton, against Luton sorry, with another solid showing. It's, it's really positive that these young players are stepping up and, and playing at this grade. Yeah, it's positive also because they handled uh, adversity at half time because they put real pressure and demands on them and I really had a, a big go at them. I think that's why I've lost my voice again um, and they know the standards I expect from them because I'm not asking these lads to do anything they're not capable of. They're very capable players and they're going to get better. They've got a lot of room for improvement but they know that they just fell below that level in the first half but as you said, as we more grew into the game, young Jack Radoni and Etienne, they showed a good relationship and the subs who come on as well gave us a great lift. On a better day, we're sitting 3 or 4 now up and the game's done. Perfect. I won't ask you any more. I don't want to risk your voice any longer, but thank you very much for your time, Mark. Thank Marco. you very much, guys. Cheers.